Hi guys, Tracy here and I've finished my New York City project life. I'm going to share part two with you guys. I've already shared part one, but before I um, do a, a detailed share, I thought I'd do a quick flip through because now that I'm sharing my, my pages outside of the page protector, I don't think you get quite a sense of how it all kind of fits together. So this was page one. I've already showed you these pages. I have an insert here. I've already showed you these pages. And now this is where this video is gonna start is with these pages right here. I have an insert here, uh, which is design J, which is new to me. Um, and then I have two inserts that are five by sevens. And then I have another spread here, another spread here, an insert that's eight by eight, and another spread, another spread. And then on this last page, I just wanted to put this picture. I love these hand-drawn 3D pictures of cities, and I noticed that the Circle Cruise map was one of those. So I cut it down to 12 by 12 and just put it in a page protector. I had, a that was gonna be on this side, um, and so I had the back of this, which happened to be a piece of paper that I had used for splatter, um, kind of for catching the extra splatter on a project I was working on. And I kind of liked the look of it, so I put some of my extra postcards and the hotel key card, which I didn't get to put in my project life, here as well. And so that gives me, just kind of finishes off the project. So now I'm going to go back to... Um, I guess it's this page, and I will start to share them one by one with you guys outside of the page protector, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm going to start by sharing this top left-hand corner with you guys. This is a card from the Jade Core Kit. It's a 4x6 journaling card, and uh, it, it came with the patterns on it. I stamped Happy 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 from the July Scraptastic Project Life kit. These two stamps here I put together also from the July Project Life stamp set kit and then these sequins were also in the kit and then I just did some journaling about um, about just shopping on Fifth Avenue and uh, uh, w one of the things that I wanted to make sure I documented was because I had this picture this is a picture of the personal shopping room at American Girl and I had this uh, cut apart banner from Ormolu that said keeping it real so I just put an un in there so it's keeping it unreal uh, because it's pretty unreal that place <laughs> there is so much stuff in the American Girl store and then to have this personal shopping room was quite amazing. I, I was quite taken aback by it. Um, and one of the ladies at the store was kind of helping me and she led me to that room and I got to wait there for Scott to come and meet me. He was going to meet me before I made my purchases. Um, and it was just kind of a little strange to think that some people shop that way all the time. This is a picture of the Caroline display, or one of the Caroline displays at the American Girl store. That's the doll that we got for Sophie, so I wanted to take a picture of that. And then this is, um, and it's just mounted on a piece of grid paper. This is a card from the Scraptastic July Kit Club, and uh, this one I just put two scraps of striped paper across the top and bottom to add some color to it, and I put some sequins from the kit on the cameras, and then I just added an arrow that also came in the kit. Did my journaling about how the girls saved up for their American Girl dolls, and then this one is, an, is a Scraptastic Kit Club card, and I just put the uh, little tag from the doll and another wood veneer that came in the kit. And then this is the sage, a picture of one of the sage displays. And uh, again, that's the other doll that my daughter got. And um, I figured I'd take a picture of the hot air balloon because that is something that she would never get. So <laughs> that she might want a picture of it because she's not going to be getting it. It's very expensive. Um, this is a card from a title card from the Honey Collection, and I just covered some of the lines here with this with this um, banner from the or it, it's by Aunt Ormalu, and it came in a scraptastic kit. Sorry, I'm getting tongue twisted here. I just did a little bit of journaling here about the energy of the city, and then this is another scraptastic card from the July kit. I ran some washi tape along the edge of it. Also came in the July kit. Also made a line of. Um, 
sequins and each sequin is a dot kind of like a point for the list of things that we did that day and this card said let's review and so I added day four underneath of it so it's, it's a let's review day four card so that's that page I'll be back with the next so this is my insert that goes between the those the page that I just showed you and the page I'm about to show you. I'm just going to show it in the page protector just because um, it's mostly photos and it'll go quicker this way. So this is a 4x3 photo of Central Park. So all of these pictures are from Central Park. This is a piece of Travel Girl paper and I actually cut it too short. The, these are, this is Becky Higgins design. These squares are 4x4 four four, and I cut the paper a little bit too short. I didn't measure it and so I just stuck this Amy Tangerine uh, tag on there from her die cut collection. Put this uh, clip from the Scraptastic kit and uh, use these are Kelly Perky letter stickers to spell out Central Park and I cut this in such a way that New York was showing. There's all different names of cities and travel related words on this paper and so I cut it so that New York was going to be prominent and then I put a little uh, wood veneer heart no, that's a star, in the center of New York and of the O in New York and uh, that came in the kit. And then I just did some journaling here because this was a little bit, um, this was the beginning of the word London and it was a little bit distracting so I put my journaling there. Uh, I really like how this card turned out. I think it's one of my favorite cards in the whole, in the whole project. So th for this one, I used the map that came in my uh, New York City passbook. The, open, the cover kind of opens up, folds open into a map. I think it's a subway map. And so I just put the Love This Life die cut over that. And then this is an Instagram of Scott and I in the park. I still wasn't feeling well that day, so I look a little pale. This is an Ormolu pennant that came, I think this one came in the June kit. There's another four by three card and another four by four um, Instagram. Sorry, that's a four, three by four photo. Then this side is all pictures from the Met. So I just printed up the pictures and put them on paper. These are two Amy Tam papers. This is an Amy Tam paper as well. And then this is from the Travel Girl collection. I just cut out the weather part of it um, and just said that it was starting to rain. So we went into the Met and there's some pictures of the art. Here's a four by three picture of a sculpture. We thought that this guy was funny in the background. Um, then we thought that the skinny cat sculpture was kind of funny and cute. So we took a picture of it and I used the um, Scraptastic Kit Club, uh, the Project Life stamp has that one on it. And then there's a picture of the cat from that side and that's that's printed up in four by three. Oh yes, these are Lily B um, letter stickers, the ones that come on a big sheet. Uh, I think there's six different kinds of fonts, or there's it's the same font but six different colors on one sheet. And then these are Jilly Bean, uh, yeah, Jilly Bean letter stickers in navy blue. And I have two more inserts I'm also not going to take out. This is just the pamphlet from the Met. It has the map and information on what, what was um, displayed at the museum that day. And then I took another picture of the American Girl store from the outside because the girls had requested that I take that picture. So I just put that there. This is the receipt from their American Girl dolls. And then we went to, this is for the following day. So that it's kind of on this side of this um, bunch of inserts. So this is the third insert between these pages. And um, we went to this really cool, his, his name is Nathan Sawaya, and he is a Lego artist and he's awesome. And we went to his display at um, Discovery Times Square, which we, really, we weren't even gonna go to it, but we had um, time to spare in between doing two other things and our admission was included with the New York City Pass so we just decided to go over and see what they had. So this is an Ormolu banner from the kit and then this is an Ellie Studio tag from the scrapbooking kit from July. I used a roller date stamp here and then I just did my journaling there and these are postcards that I bought in the gift store. And this is sort of the main image that's the that they advertise this display with so I made sure to buy that postcard. And I'll be right back with the other side of this spread. Okay, so here's the next page. I'm gonna walk you through it starting with this top left-hand corner card. This is a card from the Jade Collection. It's a four by six journaling card. It had this 
yellow chevron and words and the camera on it already. I added a sequin to the camera. That is from the kit. I added a date stamp and three strips of washi tape across the, kind of in behind the two photos and then I did my journaling all around it. Those are two two by two photos. Now this one is another title card. This one is from the honey kit and it had all these arrows over it so I cut out something from the International Photography Centers, the International Center for, for Photography um, from their pamphlet. You weren't allowed to take pictures in there so I just included this because we don't have any photos of that exhibit and I used the same basic gray uh, chipboard letters for the word day and the same Amy Tangerine goodness thickers for the number five. So this is day five. I did use my roller date stamp there. And then this is a card that came in, I think this came in the June kit. It could have been in the July kit, but I'm pretty sure it was in the June kit and I didn't get a chance to use it. So I just stamped things we do, which came in the Scraptastic kit. I used wood veneer arrows as my bullets and then I just listed off the things we did that day. It says it was awesome, which was appropriate because it was awesome. This is a card that came in the July Scraptastic kit. I just outlined it with two different thicknesses of marker and put a sequin over number three because it was July 3rd. Then this is a Jade Core Kit uh, 4x6 journaling card. It had this down the side of it and the camera. I added a sequin to the camera lens. I added this little finger, which is from the roll of washi tape that came with the July kit. And then I just did my journaling about the ICP. I got a really cool t-shirt there. Then this is a Jade kit card, a Jade uh, core kit by Becky Higgins. And I just um, stapled a Ormolu flag that came in the July kit and I just kind of use it as a little folder to hold in the tickets. And it just says, hooray. We had a lot of fun there. It was a little over my head, some of it, but uh, it was fun looking at all the art. <laughs> um, this is from the Honey Core Kit. It's just a four by six title card. That's what it looks like on the other side. And I just, I had a third of those postcards from the Lego thing. This is so cool. This is flat, the whole background is flat. And then this is actually 3D. I, you can't really tell because it's 2D because it's a card. Um, but I just, I just cut out the art part of the postcard and then I just put our tickets to the art of the brick in behind. So that was more of the Discovery Times Square. I didn't bother doing any journaling or even any embellishing on this. I had already done journaling on the insert that went with that uh, set of cards. So this is another, uh, I believe this is from the Honey Core Kit. Uh, and it is a journaling 4x6 card and I it's nice enough just as it is so I just put the two photos there's my cool t-shirt that I love I just put the two photos from Byron Park and did my journaling pretty simple so I like to combine um, some more embellished elements along with some more plain elements and so this one um, has lots of it, this one is pretty simple Okay, so here's my next spread starting up in the top left corner. I used a piece of grid paper as my background and this was a diptych that I took and I just printed it out so that it was six inches wide so it would fit on a four by six uh, photo card or journaling card. Um, I just put it on a grid paper. That's what it looks like on the other side. I think these are from Studio Caligo. Um, and it, I just did some journaling about the NBC store, the little chair that they have there. And then this is from the Jade Becky Higgins core kit. It's just a journaling card, a four by six journaling card. When I travel, I do so much journaling that I like to, you know, use a lot of those journaling cards. Uh, so I used a Amy Tangerine roller date stamp, wrote in the name of the restaurant, and then a little bit about our experience at that restaurant. Then here is a, uh, this is from the Honey Collection, I think, from the Honey Core Kit. And it, I have both the Honey and the Jade, so I might be getting some of them mixed up. 
This might be Jade, actually. I think Jade has more of a red and Honey has more of a pink. Anyhow, it's one of those two and it says life on the other side. And so this is a three by three Instagram of the NBC Studios sign. And then I just did some journaling about how much fun we had on that tour. These are our tickets. I just stapled them in place here on this grid card. And then I just added a little label for my stash and used the stamp places we go. That stamp came in the Scraptastic Project Life Kit for July. This is a Jade 4x3 journaling card. It came with this with this camera already on it and this pattern already on it. It might have come with another pattern. I can't remember. No, it didn't. It was just plain. I covered up most of it with this 3x3 three three Instagram of us at the top of the rock. Did some journaling about the top of the rock. Then this is the picture that I took with my cell phone from the top of the rock. It didn't come out very well, but I really like that there's this raindrop on it. It was raining that Anyways, day. I really like this view of Central Park and the city. You can see the bridge. I don't think you can see it on the video, but you can see like the other bridge off in the, one of the other bridges off in the distance. And I used a an older script, not older because I've only been subscribing for so long. I used um, a this stamp here, which is from After the Storm, which was from the May kit from Scraptastic. And then where the stars were on it, I just covered them up with wood veneer stars and I used my Stampin' Up! Daffodil, uh, Delightful Daffodil uh, marker to color them in yellow. Then this, these are Top of the Rock tickets and this is a piece of paper from Allison Craft from her 6x6 paper pad. And then this is just a piece of white cardstock. I took the Shine Bright die cut from the uh, kit from one of the July kits and I just used my zig glue pen This one right here to glue this on and then the bottom part was kind of overhanging and then I just t Turned it over and trimmed it down with my trimmer uh, So that just the letters were showing on there and then I uh, matted it in white so that it would look like it was sort of built into the it kind of looks like it's framed with one of those frames with the letters on it so that is that spread. So this is my 8x8 insert. I had a large postcard that wouldn't fit. I, when I bought these postcards, I thought I'd just tuck them into 4x6 pockets, but it turns out they're way bigger. So um, I just put it on this. This is a piece of Amy Tangerine paper. I used Amy Tangerine um, journal, I think. Yeah, these are the journal um, thickers. And then this is a Brad from the 24-7 collection. Somebody's stomping around a lot upstairs. I think they're playing around. Um, and then this is another piece of Amy Tangerine paper. It just looks like a concrete wall. I have two Instagram photos here. I outlined it with my pen and just did some doodling around it. And then I have this is a, car, a 4x3 card from the Scraptastic Kit Club. And these are old sassafras letters. I used a Kelly Perky Yes Please stamp here and did my journaling about going to Carmine's. All right, here's the next page. Uh, this begins with day six. We went to Madame Trousseau's Wax Museum. And so I've got this picture of Scott and I with Taylor Swift which we thought would be fun because our girls love Taylor Swift. I just stapled the tickets there. This is a honey journaling card from the Honey Core Kit. Use the same basic gray chipboard stickers and Amy Tangerine Goodness thickers. Used a Amy Tangerine roller date stamp there and just did a tiny bit of journaling. So the Wax Museum it includes this title card that says day six as well as the Wax Museum and then this card and also this card. So this one is just on a piece of um, embossed cardstock. It's uh, there. It's embossed anyways. Uh, very subtle and I didn't sand it or anything because I wanted it to stay subtle. I really just wanted a yellow piece of paper and that was in my stash. I have um, 
some sequins from the Scraptastic kit right there, and then these are speech bubbles from my stash that I'm trying to use up. They're vellum speech bubbles from Studio Calico, and um, so I just put kind of what I think is funny little sayings. These are the things that we were kind of saying to each other as we were posing with the different wax characters. So this one says, if I only met this guy before Justin, and then this one is me and Woody Allen, and Scott and I have always joked, I said that if I could get Woody Allen as a client, I'd, I'd be able to afford to live in New York City. Um, so I just kind of said a little, so, okay, Woody, do some cognitive restructuring and call me in the morning. And this is one of the die cuts that came in the July Scraptastic kit. And then this is a piece of that Allison Craft. No, am I saying Allison Craft? Yeah, I think it is Allison Craft. Um, her uh, six by six paper pad. And it's just matte paper and I like the colors. So I thought that was appropriate. This is a four by three photo of us before we went into the wax museum. There's a little place that you can take your picture with Times Square in the background. That's real, it's, it's like a window. Um, then this is from the Scraptastic. I believe it's from the June kit. Uh, it could be from the July kit. There were a couple of um, filler cards. Uh, I think this might be from the July kit. Anyways, I um, already had mounted it on a piece of brown cardstock because I knew I was going to do that with all of the filler cards in this, um, with all of those filler cards in this project. And it did say, go see do, and I covered up the do with a camera. So it's like, go see photograph. And then this card here is another little joke. It's me and George Clooney, and I'm saying, sorry, George, I'm already married. He's holding my hand there. And I just put, this is on a jade kit a jade core kit card and I just put these uh, sequins that came in the kit. This by the way is more leftover brads from the 24-7 collection. These were in the June uh, scrapbooking kit from Scraptastic and I had so many left over that I just decided to put them in my project life wherever. Um, this is a card from the Honey collection from the Honey Core Kit, it's a title card. And I um, put this picture of the Shake Shack thing that they give you to wait your turn. And it kind of shakes and light, lights up, it vibrates and lights up when it's your turn to go get your order. And uh, this trip to the Shake Shack, the only reason that I even knew what the Shake Shack was is because of Kelly Perky's Instagram feed. So I just put, I used this uh, die cut from, this is from Jelly Bean Soup. It's a uh, Polaroid frame, and I put it around my Instagram, and I used a Kelly Perky stamp to say yum, and then I said this meal was inspired by Kelly Perky's Instagram feed. And I used Mama Elephant uh, letter stickers for this, or letter stamps, and then Studio Calico letter stamps for that. And I outlined it. Then these are two four by six cards that I just attached to a grid card. And this one came in the, I think this one came in the June Scraptastic kit. And then it's just layered with a subway ticket. And then this is the tag from the Vinylmation that I bought. And then this is a tab that came in the July kit. This is a, is a Scraptastic card that came in the July kit, but I covered up, it had something down here and I covered it up. It was something about summertime, so. And then I just put an Instagram on the bottom part of it. We took a horse and carriage ride, but we actually didn't take any pictures from the ride. We just kind of enjoyed it without taking any pictures. So at the end, we snapped a photo of ourselves. Okay, so here we are at day seven. This is the last page of my project life. On day seven, we left, and so we really only had the morning and I think we left this well we left our hotel at about 1 or 1 30 or so so we got up bright and early and we ate um, breakfast at Rockefeller Plaza just outside we bought from a street vendor I think and um, there was a concert going on because it was it had been July 4th the day before we were expecting a concert on July 4th but the concert was the next day for some reason 
there was a big concert anyways and I think Good Morning America or whatever that morning show is was there and it, it was loud and we, we were watching it in our hotel room and then when we went to Rockefeller Plaza that's close enough to the park that we could actually hear it and it was really nice but we had other things that we wanted to do so we did not check out the concert. This card is from the Jade Core Kit and it is a title card. It's, I thought it was, I really like the the red polka dots. I did some journaling on it even though it's kind of hard to read if you take your time and read it you can. It says we stumbled upon this park, Washington Square Park, where we saw Philip Seymour Hoffman and his family. And this is just a pretty picture of the park. I printed it up uh, at 3 by at 4x4. Four four. This is a clip that came in the Scraptastic kit. These are more of those basic grey letter stickers, uh, chipboard letter stickers, and a uh, thicker from the Amy Tangerine Goodness collection. So that's that one. And then this one kind of just documents the whole day. So it talks about us taking the subway, and walk to Adorama, um, walked around Soho and Greenwich Village. I added some sequins here and this Amy Tangerine wood veneer card, which I've been holding on to specifically for this trip. So I had to incorporate it in there somehow. Uh, we went to Adorama, which is where Scott does most of his, Scott is a self-taught photographer and he has done a lot of his learning through the videos on YouTube that these guys have. And so going to this shop was an important, uh, thing for us to do and uh, he did buy something there. Then this is a Scraptastic card from the June Scraptastic Project Life Kit and I just put like where it says eating, pizza in Greenwich Village, doing, walking through Soho in Greenwich Village, remembering how beautiful NYU was, making memories of our last day and loving every last second. Oh that makes me sad. I don't know when we're gonna get to go to New York again but I love New York. This is a card from, I'm gonna guess the, it has a camera, so I'm gonna guess the Jade kit, but it has a different camera. Maybe it's the Honey. I'm sorry, I have the two kits and I got them at the same time and I can't remember which is which. Uh, this is an Instagram that I printed at three by three, or four by four, sorry, of the, this is the charm that I got at the Soho store. And I just did that with over the app for your iPhone that they had free at Starbucks a while ago. This is definitely a honey card, uh, honey core kit, and uh, I just printed up, this is a photo that we took and then I used an app to put like comic book speech bubbles on it. it says we'll be home soon and we miss you and we went to the airport way earlier than we needed to because I was a little um, paranoid about missing our flight and I just wanted to get back to the kids at that point I couldn't really focus on doing anything else so we went to the airport but like a couple of hours too early but anyways um, this is a panoramic photo of when we got in we got in at midnight but our mudroom was completely covered in all of these uh, papers that said like how was your trip um, what was your favorite part what did you do uh, did you get me my American Girl dolls? It says Scott and Tracy with hearts and mom and dad and this is just, that's just what's always in our mudroom is that uh, it's like a window pane with writing in it. So I added an Ormolu banner and just did some journaling above and below and put the whole thing on a jade core kit journaling card. So this is another jade core kit journaling card. And I put these two pictures of the girls with their American Girl dolls. The girls got up at five o'clock in the freaking morning that day um, because they were so excited to either see us or get their American Girl dolls, one or the other. Um, so I had to take a picture of them with their dolls. Caroline's hair is absolutely gorgeous. These dolls are phenomenal. I mean, they are expensive. At first I thought it was silly that they were so expensive, but once I actually saw them, they have real, like their hair is not the same as other dolls' hair. Like you can actually style it and it goes back to the way it was. Like this, this girl's curls, you can still make them go like that again. So thanks so much for checking out my Project Life, you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I know I went really fast, but uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Take care.
So I keep my travel part of Project Life in a separate album. This is what it looks like. It's a Becky Higgins album. And right now I only have this one trip in it, but I'm gonna put my other two trips in the front part of it. And then I have a trip to Boston coming up this uh, next month that I'm also gonna put in here. Um, so I use these Becky Higgins page protect, not page protectors, these page dividers uh, in between. I used to use them in between my months, but now I use them in between my trips. And um, so what I do is I put a piece of washi tape that is not too see-through. So this glitz design is perfect because it's not, it's washi tape, but it's not see-through. So you can't see the reverse of the letters. And I just use Lily B um, letter stickers and a date stamp. So NYC 2013, I just put the same thing on both sides. And it's a simple, quick way to um, separate my pages. There might come a time when I want to do something more elaborate with these, but for now I really like them plain because you can kind of see through them and see it doesn't kind of take away from the project. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions, just uh, leave me a message. Mm -hmm.